Hi guys and welcome back and this week we're going to have a look at our low maintenance plant of the week and this week it is Nandina Domestica Pygmy and this one I think is firepower from memory. It's a really attractive uh, foliage plant having very nice um, yellowy red foliage. Hello mate, you come to have a look at the at the plant? Yes, this is the dog that chews the corners of the decking. Um, Yes, so we've got your chew toys today, didn't we? Um, so right, so it's a good plant, it's a low maintenance plant, and it is common name is heavenly bamboo. And um, it'll grow to about this height, which is about 60, 65 centimeters, 70 centimeters by about 70 centimeters. And there's not much you do with it. This is probably the lowest maintenance plant I know. It doesn't flower, but it's just the foliage you grow for it, and you need a full sun position. If you if if anything, the only thing you really need to do with it is when it gets um, when it's been in maybe about five to eight years, maybe just give it a light clip. Um, I'll show you some pictures where where if you don't give it a light clip, maybe once every six seven years, it does get a little bit sort of stalky on the ends. But it yeah, it prefers a full sun position and pretty much any reasonable soil. And uh, yes, it's a great plant to use for low maintenance. I'll show you some combinations next of where how I would use it uh, in a garden and landscaping. So this combination uses Grisolinia and the Dwarf Pittosporum golf ball. This one is like a bit of a subtropical look with Lamandra grasses down the bottom and a pygmy date palm. Varieties available. So there's lots of different varieties available. This one's called Little Flick. Similar to the one I've got, Firepower. There's also another popular one called Lemon Lime. And Gulfstream. But there are a few different varieties available. Okay guys, that wraps up a Nandina Firepower. There's Dwarf Nandinas. Hopefully you found it useful and we'll see you in the next one.